Good afternoon, this is James with you on 97.8 Dance FM, and right now on Drive Time, I've got the man of the hour. He's coming in all the way from abroad for Paradise at Blue Marlin Ibiza. DJ Richie Ahmed, how you doing? Yeah, I'm great, thanks mate. How are you doing? Very good, pleasure to be speaking to you. How's the weather out there? Oh man, that's exactly what I was going to get to first. You're going to have a blast out here. Well, I've been to a few, like I've been to South America twice this month, and a few half decently warm countries but I'm sick of this weather now there's some the winter here is just, we've been getting snow in April snow in May I mean March it's just been like I've had enough now I don't mind a bit of cold weather but now it's time for a bit of sun yeah yeah I've, I've heard about that actually the snow in April so it's good you're, you're not going to see anything even close to that here uh, and we're very much excited to welcome you back to the city, man. It's always nice to have you. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to get back. Always a pleasure to see the crew as well at Blue Marlin. And, you know, it's just a nice little uh, nice little spot. Yeah. So speaking of, how do you feel about Paradise coming to uh, to the UAE for the first time? I think it's really cool. You know, I think um, Hanin sort of sent me a lot of the pictures of the production and how they've changed it for this. And it looks looks pretty phenomenal what they've done. I think the only venue I would even consider, I would even consider doing it, would obviously be Blue Mall in UAE. Yeah. Um, it's a cool venue. It's my favourite. Well, it's the only place I'll play there over there, really. I'm, mean, you know, pretty, pretty loyal to them boys. They look after you. And it's, it's what I really like about it, it's always a really good party. You know, you can play early and play all the disco you like and they love it. Or you can play techno later on at night, you know, and, and they love that too, you know. So it's not just. Such as people there for the for the place or the scene, the, the do go for the music like specifically, which is really important, you know, for a DJ to be to like to want to keep coming back. Otherwise, you just you know you you some stages just take money gigs that they don't really enjoy doing. But yeah, um, Blue Marlins are really really good party, you know. I've, I've stood by from the day one. Well, that's that's actually what I was going to ask you is what do you find special about the crowd in in the UAE and and at Blue Marlin? Uh, here in general, but you you hit it on the on the nail with a hammer. That is um that's, I mean, when you when you find people that are passionate about the music, that's... preempted your question. I preempted your question. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, music. Yeah. One, one other thing I do like about it, it's a mixed crowd. You know, um, there's a lot of English in there, which is always good for an English DJ. You know, you, you see people you know from home. A lot of my friends have moved out there. You know, for the for the lifestyle and better job opportunities, and but you get a lot of Europeans and a lot of lot of Arabics, and it's a good crowd, you know. And it doesn't go on too late, so people don't get too messy, and it's it's always a good vibe in there. Exactly, exactly. It's all about the fun, and it is a melting pot. It is, Richie. I want to ask you about this label 432 that you have started. How has it been? Right, you you've just wrapped up almost the first year, or you've you've finished your first year. Yeah, pretty, yeah. Like the first, this is going into the second year now. We're on the second. I only do um, four, probably five releases this year. I don't try to flood the market with like what some labels are doing. Mm-hmm. I really, really try to focus on what I believe to be quality rather than quantity. So every release, I really want. The only guideline for the label was I said that I wanted to be able to play every track on my label and be happy to play it in a set in five years' time, ten years' time. That was it. So it wasn't specific. It could be house, techno, disco, trip hop, anything. But I was really wanting to be assured of the timelessness or the quality of it. You know, I didn't want it to follow any fads. And um, you know, like yeah, I do vinyl. I do full picture I, vinyl with each track and digital with original artwork for each one. And uh, I put a lot of love into it. You know, and um, it's 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 really starting to pay off. You know, it's. Um, Every release has been really well received, critically wise and, and sale wise. You know the sales in the last two or three have really, really, really done really well. And then um, the next one, my EP in the world, I've got the whole year planned actually. And um, I'm like really proud of every release we've got coming out this year. So I'm just excited to get them out. You know. Oh, that's a blessing, man. That is, and that's because, like you said, your vision you had, you want that to be, you know, yeah. not just 2018 music. Definitely not, definitely. I mean, most of the stuff's like very, a lot, you know, Detroit, Chicago, or house and techno based. Yeah. But like, you know, we've got a few other mixed bags coming out soon. And I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm so, it's easier when you have a little schedule like that's heavy, you know, most, most labels do one a month, 
but most of them are done one every two weeks. Some are done every week, but straight to digital. You couldn't do that with vinyl. It would take so long to turn around. But, um, I mean, so, and I just think it's just impossible to keep the quality good at that, at that sort of, like, you know, that turnover. And it just wasn't what I was about. A lot of people need labels to make money or to get a um, profile. And I, I'd already sort of established them two things before I started the label, so it was a bit more of a, you know, a bit more of a passion for me, but it's turning into something really good. And something I'm really proud of. I look at the old vinyls of the day, I had them all laid out, and the, the, they look really special, you know, the artwork's really cool, and um, so far, so good. That's good, man. Well, you know what? I, I think that, that having the passion for it is is key. And look, I mean, the best the best business of any sort has to come from a passion. I, I really believe that. And it seems like that's kind of what you're going off of. So congrats. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. It's got to come from creativity and passion. You just start getting bored with it, you know? So, yeah. I mean, like, I got lots and lots and lots of tracks that I still would release, you know, that are really good, but it's just, like I see, you've got to be a little bit more selective on what you're putting out if you're only doing five five releases a year you know so I want each one I don't want to have any ones where you look back and go oh I said I put that out and I don't care what any DJ says any of the says he definitely has had them moments you know yeah now for for somebody who wouldn't know or doesn't know what what's the inspiration I guess behind the name 432 432 is the harmonic frequency in the universe that's um, like a, a frequency that runs through the, you know, the certain the, the stars, which goes down into the galaxies, goes down to this, goes down into the planets, and it resonates. Because if we're all in a certain resonance with the universe, is we're, we're connected, you know. So we're connected to the planet. The planet is connected to the solar system. Solar system set into the galaxy, and the galaxy is connected to the universe. And 432 is a harmonic resonance that is sort of signified between the lot. When music's tuned to that level, it creates more harmony. It can create healing. It can create, it can create, you know, just like more, more, more calm, more nice vibe, happy vibe, and so on. So I am a very spiritual person, but I didn't want to get too cosmic with the right the name of the label. I didn't want to start calling it like some sort of, you know. My chandra, chandra, <laughs> but it's something I believe in. I just thought the numbers, they just jumped out at me, you know, and I just thought the numbers are universal, you know, people can either just, oh, that's a cool name, or the people that know about 432 will resonate with them, and that's, that'll grab them as well, you know, so it's, it's a little bit un- undercover, but for people that know, they know. That's you really know cool, I mean? though. Yeah, that, that's why it's nice. You learn something new every day, right, Richie? <laughs> yeah, you learn something new every day. If you look on 432 Hertz, on the internet, you'll find a ton of stuff and a ton of different music. There's a lot of meditation tools at that frequency. Now, I don't set every track to that frequency, but I have set a couple of tracks. The first ones were, and yeah, I'm still going to be looking at this more in the future as well. But it was more just a nod, really. And then, um, like, you know, like, there's a lot of little shirts and artwork and stuff, and... It's more undercover and stuff, but I don't like I don't like the Well man, you got a piece of you and more. That's amazing. I'm I'm happy to hear yeah. that the label's doing so well. Now speaking of um yeah, speaking of, you know, releases and all of that, what do you have so obviously you're gonna be here Friday, the sixth of April, uh, for Paradise at Blue Marlin Ibiza, UAE. And um yeah. after that, what's what's what do you what would you say is the next thing coming? Oh, this, I mean, just that was the week after. I mean, bloody hell. I was just looking at it there thinking, I'm doing snow bombing the week after. I've got the big Sandy party in, in London, and I'm straight doing the music on party um, straight after. Um, I've got so, I'm so busy with festivals coming. Now's the time. I mean, it's been a pretty busy winter anyway, but I'll be heading back to the United States as well, um, which I've not been there for quite a while. But I will be on my way back. And uh, so I'm going to do for the Paralabs, just doing all the major festivals in Europe and around the world. And I'm super busy. I was just looking at the calendar there thinking, oh, my God, it's just about to start now. I've, uh, January, I've not been too bad. I've been really busy, but now is about the time when I start getting a bit crazy. Yeah, it's all going to lead you somewhere, though, right? Yeah, I love it, man. I love the job of the music. The travel can be a pain sometimes, but I have to say, no job's perfect. I love the day, it's still a job. Uh, that that's beautiful. 
That's beautiful. Uh, Richie Ahmed, thank you so much for the chat. And we can't wait to see you here uh, tomorrow for Paradise at Blue Marlin. Uh, do you want us to? Do you want me to get you anything in specific, or are you ready to come nah, on in? Nah, nah, just, just, just a lot of good vibes, man. Just a lot of good vibes. I'm playing three times actually. I've just seen this at time. I'm doing a bit of disco or housey groovy set in the day, and I'll be playing peak time once back to back with Jamie and once just after. Sweet. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. We'll see you soon. Uh, take it easy, brother. You too. <laughs>